Ashton Kutcher is giving an update and some clarification about his health. The Vengeance star is speaking out after news broke on Monday that the actor suffered from an autoimmune disorder that affected his ability to see, hear, and walk, tweeting, Before there are a bunch of rumors, chatter, whatever out there, yes, I had a rare vasculitis episode three years ago, autoimmune flare-up. I had some impairments, hear, vision, balance issues right after. I fully recovered. All good. Moving on. See you at the 2022 New York Marathon with Thorne. The 44-year-old's health update comes after Access Hollywood shared an exclusive sneak peek of his upcoming Running Wild with Bear Grylls episode, in which he discussed his diagnosis and the hardships he went through with it. It's still tricky. Do you know, I've never met any strong person who's had an easy road. Where does that strength come from with you? Like two years ago, I had this weird, super rare form of vasculitis that like knocked out my vision, knocked out my hearing. Yeah. And knocked out like all my equilibrium. It took me like a year to like build it all back up. You don't really appreciate it until it's gone, until you go, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to see again. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to hear yeah. again. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to walk again. Wow, what an ordeal. Talk about strength through adversity. Lucky to be alive. Lucky to be alive. Yeah, man. Amazing. Well, Ashton has recovered and feels, quote, lucky to be alive after the medical scare, the father of two explained how the experience adjusted his outlook on life. The minute you start seeing your obstacles as things that are made for you to give you what you need, then life starts to get fun, right? You start surfing on top of your problems. Yeah. Instead of living underneath them. Hearing Ashton's story about his autoimmune disease, you know, that's a terrifying journey. But it's also part of why he's strong and resilient. What do they say in survival? Storms make you stronger. And I think uh, he's living proof of that. The That 70s Show alum really is doing great, as last week he shared with People Magazine at the Los Angeles premiere of his new film, Vengeance, about the exciting summer he's had with his wife, Mila Kunis, and their two children, five-year-old son, Dimitri, and seven-year-old daughter, Wyatt. I have the best time with my kids. If I never had to send them back to school, that would be my preference. Ashton revealed that he and his family just got back from, quote, a crazy 10-day road trip. We just went cruising in a van to the national parks around the country, just hanging out with our kids 24-7, and it was phenomenal. Ashton spoke with Access Hollywood Zuri Hall on that same red carpet, and he opened up about his new film and what it was like working on it with the office's B.J. Novak. Well, I worked with B.J. like 20 years ago. I cast him on Punk, and I was like, this guy's amazing. And he's gone on to have this like unbelievable career. And so when he reached out about doing this, I was like, like, yeah, I, I read, I'd read the screenplay, and I was like, he wrote what I think is one of the most exceptional screenplays I've ever read. And the character was really interesting. And working with BJ just seemed like a joy. And so I jumped in and said, yeah. The two and a half men alum also reminisced about being with John Mayer on MTV's TRL back in 2006 and how the iconic singer sort of inspired his character in the movie. Okay, so I remember, I remember this moment distinctly. Do you? Yeah. What happened? Well, so he had just released the Gravity album, I think. And, and before that, it was like, my body is a wonderland, like there was the whole thing. And when I heard, I had heard that album, and I went to him, I was like, yo, this new album is insanely good. And I think I think you're about to experience like a whole situation just based on this album. And he was like, oh, "Thank you, I really he was like, incredibly humble." But here's the really funny thing: I didn't know John was in the movie. So, so when I got cast, no, so I didn't know because I was just talking to BJ about doing the thing. And so he was like, well, what are you thinking for the character? What do you think he's going to dress like? What do you think he's going to look like? And so I send BJ a bunch of pictures yeah. of like John Mayer doing his like Western album Damn. where he's got like all this like like ponchos he's on. And the, like, I was like, this is what I think the character looks like. And he's like, yeah. um, <laughs> John's actually in the movie. How so I don't say? think that we can do that. And so then wow. I ended up rejigging the whole thing. Tell me your paths crossed on set. Probably not, but Never. just tell me anyway. Never, Never seen him. I haven't seen him in 10 years. Well, hopefully That's tonight. We were doing like, like Krav Maga knife fighting in my living room. I have so many more questions. No time to ask them tonight. Have fun. We'll circle back around on that.